Hello everyone, my name is Sandeep Singh Gupta and you're watching Electric Vehicles. Now, before we start the video, let me give you two figures. The sales figures of TVS iCube in the month of August 2022 was 4,418 units. In the month of September, it rose to 4,923 units. Now, these are pretty impressive numbers for the iCube because when it was launched initially, TVS was uh, struggling to sell the iCube. Now, they were able to do this because they divided the model into three different um, actually the IQ model into three different sub models the IQ base model IQ S and IQ ST now mind you the build quality the sales and servicing network of TVS has always remained good and strong what has happened now is the performance to price ratio has looked better from the customer point of view so in this video I will tell you the specifications of all these three models and I will tell you who depending on your requirement, should book which model. Now, of course, I'll start with the range first. The TVS IQ base model and then the IQ S model, the middle, middle model, they both come with the same battery pack and therefore the range is same. IQ ST has a bigger battery pack and a better range. Now, the IQ and the IQ S in economy mode will give you 100 kilometers of range. In the sports mode, these two models will give you a 75 kilometers of range. The IQ ST on the other hand, in economy mode will give you 145 kilometers of range and in the sports mode will give you 110 kilometers of range. Now this is because the battery pack is larger in the IQ ST model. How much larger? In the IQ ST, the battery pack is of 4.56 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack of course. And uh, in the IQ and IQ S model, the uh, battery pack is of 3.04 kilowatt hour. All th these three models are lithium ion battery packs. But before we move ahead with the video, now let me tell you about the charging time for all these three models. Now mind you, the charger is not bundled along with the scooter. You'll have to buy it separately. So you have two options. One is either you go for a 950 watt charger and I'll tell you the prices later, or you go for a 1500 watt charger. If you use a 950 watt charger to charge TVS IQ or IQ S, then you are looking at 4 hours 30 minutes of charge time. If you use the 1.5 kilowatt charger, then you will be able to charge the models in 2 hours 50 minutes. Now let's come to the ST model. If you use the 950 watt charger, you will take 2 hours to charge the battery, of course 0 to 80%. If you use a 1.5 kilowatt charger, then you will need 4 hours and 30 minutes to charge the battery. And of course, all these three models support fast charging. Now before we move ahead with the video, let me tell you a very important thing. All these three uh, models, they use the battery pack, which is certified by the Indian government. It comes with AIS-156 certification. Now, we have made a detailed video about AIS-156 certification here in this channel. If you have not watched it or if you have, you think you have forgotten some of the specifics, then you should watch the video again. This is very important because it will tell you how having an AIS-156 certification gives you confidence in your battery pack that it will be able to withstand heat, water, flood. Now let's come to the motor specification. The motor present in all these three models are the same. Of course, TVS is using a BLDC hub motor which is mounted in the rear wheel. The nominal power for this motor that they're using is 3 kilowatt and the peak power is 4.4 kilowatt. This motor for all these three models is able to generate a uh, torque of 30 Newton meters. The acceleration 0 to 40 kilometers per hour for all these three models are same. It is at 4.2 seconds. But then the top speed has been limited for the base model and the mid variant to 78 kilometers per hour. The top model can do a speed of 82 kilometers per hour. Now comes a very important distinction which is the boot space available in all the three models. Now the iCube and the iCube S, they come with a boot space of only 17 liters. The iCube ST though comes with a almost twice it comes with 32 liters of boot space. Now the gradability for these three models are same, it is at 10 degrees. Now let's talk about the weight for all these three models. The IQ model, the base model weighs 117.2 kgs. The IQ S model weighs 118.8 kgs and the ST model weighs 128 kgs because it has a bigger battery pack of course. Now the suspension setup for all these three models are same. They have front telescopic suspension and an adjustable dual shock absorber in the rear. The brakes are also same. All these three models come with disc brakes in the front and in the rear. The front disc brake is 200 mm and the rear disc brake is 130 mm. The tire size is also same 90 by 90 12 inch for all the all the three models and the dimension the length and the breadth of these models all the three models are absolutely same but the seat height 
Of course, the seat height is also same for all these C models, but I'll give you a number because it is important. The seat height is 770 mm. The ground clearance, same for all these three models. Again, the number is 157 mm. And of course, all these three models come with the same light setup, which is LED lights. The color options are different depending on which model you go for. So you can look it up. But there's a major difference in terms of the instrument cluster. The base model comes with a simple instrument cluster, but the IQS, the mid variant and the top variant, they come with a large instrument cluster. The IQ ST, which is the top model, features a touchscreen. But for the mid variant, although you have a large display, it is not a touchscreen. You can operate it using the joystick that is provided. And the, in terms of the over-the-air upgrades, the IQ ST model, which is the top model, will get, will get a lot of upgrades over the air. But then the base and the mid variant will get only the telematics upgrades. Now I'll read a host of features which are same for all these three models here in your screen. Geofencing, Bluetooth side stand sensor, mobile application connectivity, turn by turn navigation, auto theft alarm, live location, USB charger and flip key. Now these features are same for all these three models. I'll tell you the next thing which is same which is the warranty. Three years of battery warranty, all the three models, one year of roadside assistance, same and one year of application subscription will be free from the date of purchase. Now before I move on to the conclusion who should buy which model, I'll tell you the price which is of course a very important factor. Now again moving to the price, first of all as you are aware you need to buy the charger separately. For a 950 watt charger the price is 9450 rupees. Now let's come to the price of the vehicle itself. iCube ST. TVS has not disclosed the price for IQ ST yet. They have, of course, uh, they are accepting bookings, but the prices are not out yet. But we expect the prices to be, the ex showroom prices to be somewhere around 1.4 to 1.45 lakhs. Now, coming to the prices for the base model and the mid variant, the base model, which is TVS IQ, the on road price is 1 lakh 15,000. For the mid variant IQ S, it is 1 lakh 20,000. 21,000 to be precise, 1 lakh 21,000 for the mid variant. Now, this is where the video ends, but you would like to know the conclusion. If you ask me personally, and I would like to know your opinion in the comment section. Now, my, my personal opinion is, if I, ever, if I were in the market looking to buy uh, one, one of these scooters, I would skip the mid variant. I would skip the TVS IQ S because the IQ S does not make too much of a value proposition for me. Again, if you differ, please let me know in the comment section. I would either suggest the iCube ST or the base model iCube. Now, why is that? Who, who should buy what? If your daily run is around 30 to 50 kilometers or even less, then definitely the TVS iCube base model makes much sense for you. But then if your running is more than that, you go for 70, 80 kilometers of daily runs, then of course there is no debate, there is no doubt about it, you need to go for the top model. Now I'll give you another, another scenario, the second scenario where you need to go for the top variant, the IQ ST. It is when you are carrying a lot of luggage when you travel or you go to market and you uh, carry the things in your scooter, then of course you need to go for the IQ ST because the boot space of IQ ST is almost twice than what the base model promises. 32 liters for IQ ST and the base model comes only with 17 liters of boot space. So this is what I think uh, differentiates the two models, the range and the boot space. Other than that, what is your opinion on these three models? Which one would you recommend based on your requirement? Please let us know in the comment section. And again, before I end this video, I'll remind you, AIS 156 certification video, do watch it. It's a very important video. It will tell you which model to buy, not just TVS. You want to buy A3, you want to buy Revolt, whatever, Ola, whatever. You need to know this AIS 156 certification. And we as customers should start demanding this from every manufacturer. Do subscribe to this channel to stay in the know-how and go green, go electric.